replace the VBA code to avoid duplicate entry while transferring data from user form to Excel sheet. On this sheet, we have some data. This data is in three columns and data is order ID, product name and quantity. Right now I have this data till row number 8. Now I want to enter new data but using user form. So I have this command button here. Once I click on this command button, I am getting user form. Now if I enter order ID as 1002, product name as XYZ, quantity as 10. Now before I click this transfer data button on user form, we can see that 1002 order ID is already there in row number 3. So if I click transfer data button on user form, I am getting message data already exists. Let me click OK. Now if I enter any data, basis on the order ID which is not already available, let's say 1009. So we can see that this order ID 1009 is not available in column A so far. So if I click now transfer data button, we can see that data is entered in the next available row. Now I can close this form by clicking on this exit form button. So we can see that we can utilize user form and transfer data from user form to Excel sheet and there is no duplicacy because VBA is checking if data is already existing. So this duplicate data checking is based on the order ID column. So let me show you what is the VBA code that I have used here. Let me click on design mode, double click on this command button. On left hand side, I will double click on this user form and then to view code, let me double click on this transfer data command button. So first of all, I am creating three variable order ID as long product underscore name as a string and quantity as long to enter three data values. Then one more variable dim a as integer. Why this? Because I am going to use as a logical value. Now I am assigning values from text box to these variables text box one dot value into order id second text box value into product name and third into quantity let me double click on this user form so these are three text boxes now a equal to zero this i will be using further for logical purpose and then I am checking that how much data is already available basis on the column A. So last row equal to worksheets, then sheet name is sheet one dot cells, row and column I need to provide. So rows dot count. Column is order ID that is column A dot and Excel up dot row. And then I am using for loop for I equal to two to last row. So this code will work even if we have data like 1000, 2000, 10,000 or whatever data is there. It is counting the last row and then loop through the data from row number 2 to last row. And then I am using if condition if worksheets dot cells i comma 1 that means it is checking only in column a dot value equal to order id. Then what is happening a equal to a plus 1. Let's say if value or existing order ID is five times. Let's say I'm entering 1002 order ID and it is there for three times. Then it will increase the value of A by three. And if and then closing statement for for loop. Now next is if A is greater than or equal to one. That means value is already existing maybe one time or more than one time then i am writing code to get message data already exists and if 
and let's say if this is not happening that means value is unique so next condition is if a equal to 0 then what I want then I want to transfer data into sheet so order ID I am assigning to next available row in the first column worksheets sheet 1 dot says last row plus 1 that means next available line plus 1 is that last row plus 1 comma 1 that means a column here this is b column and this is c column and this is how values are being assigned and f so this is the very simple code that can check duplicate data in column a and avoid duplicacy using user form so this is how we can utilize vba code for preventing duplicates in user form for data entry i hope this tutorial is helpful you can practice this and modify this code according to the requirement if you have any question around this topic you can write into comments or you can send me email thanks for watching you can subscribe to my channel for getting notifications of new VBA tutorials. Thank you.